Happy day, my dear learners! Our topic for today is based on the most essential learning competency, which is to determine the distinguishing characteristics of vertebrates and invertebrates. I am Sir Mark Anthony, and welcome to my class. Before I present our lesson, let's have a fun and exciting game first. Our game is called, Who's That Animal? I'll be showing five pictures of animals. All you have to do is to identify and name these animals. Are you ready? Great. Let's begin. Who's that animal? Okay. That's a carabao. Who's that animal? All right. That's a duck. And who's that animal? Good. That's a turtle. Next. Who's that animal? Okay, that's a snake. How about this animal? Great, that's a catfish. Wow, did you enjoy our game? Alright. Did you know that those animals are what we call vertebrates? Vertebrates are animals that have backbone. Their backbones support and protect their spinal cords and their bodies. Vertebrates are grouped according to their common characteristics. There are five classifications or groups of vertebrates. We have the mammals, birds, fish, reptiles, and the pavians. Now, let's talk about mammals. What are these animals? Very good. A horse and a cow. Now, what are these animals' body covering? Okay, these animals are covered with hair or fur for protection. How about these animals, class? Can you name these animals? Right, they are dogs and cats. Now, Based on the pictures, how were these animals born? Okay, they were born in forms that resemble their parents. How do mother mammals feed their young or babies? Correct, mother mammals feed their young by providing them with milk. What body part do they use to breathe air? Okay, they have lungs to breathe air. Class, always do remember that mammals are covered with hair or fur for protection. They were born in forms that resemble their parents. Mother mammals feed their young by providing them with milk. And they have lungs to breathe air. Here are other examples of mammals. We have rat, 
rabbit, also human, pig, goat, and many more. Next stuff, we have birds. Class, what are these animals? Very good. We have an eagle and a pigeon. Now, based on the picture, what are these animals' body covering? Okay, birds are covered with feathers and have wings which help them to fly. How about these animals? Can you name these animals? Okay, that's a chicken and a duck. Now, based on the picture, how do birds reproduce? You are right. They reproduce by laying eggs. And how many feet do they have? Okay, birds have two feet. Okay class, always do remember that birds are covered with feathers and have wings which help them to fly. Birds reproduce by laying eggs and birds have two feet. These are other examples of birds. We have turkey, owl, duck, parrot, ostrich, and many more. Let's have the next one, which is fish. Class, do you know these animals? Can you name them? All right. We have milkfish or bangus, and that is a tilapia. Now, based on the picture, what are these animals' body covering? Okay, very good. They usually have scales on their body for its protection. How about these fish? How do you call them? Alright! That's a tuna and galungo. Now, where do fish live? Okay, they live in the water. It can be in the ocean, sea, river, or pond. And how do fish reproduce? Correct, they reproduce by laying eggs. And how do fish live in the water? Very good. They have tails for moving, fins for steering, and maintaining balance, and gills for breathing. Now class, always do remember that fish usually have scales on their body for its protection. They live in the water. They reproduce by laying eggs. And they have tails for moving, fins for steering and maintaining balance, and gills for breathing. Here are other examples of fish. 
we have Lapu Lapu, Shark, Mackerel, Carp, and Janitor Fish. Now, let's talk about reptiles. Class, what are these animals? Can you name them? Okay. That's a turtle. And that is a crocodile. Now, based on the picture, what are these animals' body covering? Very good. They are covered with dry skin and hard scales. How about these animals, class? Can you name them? All right. That's a snake. And that is an iguana. Now, where do reptiles live? Okay. They live in the water and on land. Although they are more adaptable to live on land for extended periods of time because they have developed lungs and body structures. Mm -hmm. And how do reptiles reproduce? Very good. They reproduce by laying eggs. Okay, class. Always do remember that reptiles are covered with dry skin and hard scales. They live in the water and on land, although they are more adaptable to live on land for extended periods of time because they have developed lungs and body structures and they reproduce by laying eggs. Here are other examples of reptiles. We have tortoise, iguana, and gecko. And lastly, we have amphibians. Class, do you know these animals? Can you name them? Okay, very good. Those are frogs and a salamander. Now, based on the picture, what are these animals' body covering? Very good! They have moist and smooth skin on their bodies. How about these animals? Can you name them? Alright! Those are toads and a frog. Toads usually stay on land for a long period of time well, frogs usually stay in the wetland or in the water. Now, based on the picture, where do amphibians live? Correct. They can live both in water and on land. They live in water when they are still young, thus they have gills to breathe. As they grow older, they live on land, their gills disappear and develop their lungs. And how do amphibians reproduce? Right, they lay soft eggs without shells in water. Now class, 
Always do remember that amphibians have moist and smooth skin on their bodies. They can live both in water and on land. They live in water when they are still young, thus they have gills to breathe. As they grow older, they live on land. Their gills disappear and develop their lungs. And amphibians lay soft eggs without shells and water. Okay class, do you still remember the five classifications of vertebrates? Can you enumerate them? Very good. We have the mammals, birds, fish, reptiles, and amphibians. Great. Since we have finished identifying what vertebrates are and their classifications, I have prepared an activity for you. Get your science notebook or journal and write your answer to the following questions. Do we need to take care of animals? Why or why not? Why do we need to take care of animals? And how do you take care of animals? Very good class. You have performed very well in our class. Now, it's activity time. Open your week 4 activity sheets and answer the activities from 1 to 4. Good luck! I hope you had fun today. Thank you and have a nice day.